Today I want to talk about factoring polynomials in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. In another video I will discuss factoring polynomials in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c where your a is not equal 1. That's a little bit more complicated so we'll focus on the x squared plus bx plus c factoring first. In algebraic terms we can say that when we factor x squared plus bx plus c, we can write it as x plus p into x plus q, where p plus q equals b and p times q equals c. So what the heck does that mean? When we have a trinomial that has a leading coefficient of 1, nothing is written in front of our x squared, there's actually an unwritten 1 there, we can start by writing it as a double parenthesis, and we can put our x in each one because when we do our FOIL, we do x times x, and that gives me x squared. Then we have to figure what we're going to put for the next term in our parentheses. We have to look at our constant to figure that out. What are our factors of 5? Well, 5 is equal to 1 times 5. That's the only two factors you have, 1 and 5. So I'm going to put 1 and 5 over here because 1 times 5 gives me 5. This is our p and this is our q or vice versa. p plus q, or 1 plus 5, gives me 6, which is what we want for our b, which is 6. So I'm going to put a plus 5 and a plus 1, because 1x plus 5x gives me 6x. Let's try a slightly more difficult question. x squared plus 6x minus 16. So we have nothing in front of our x squared that implies that it is a 1x squared. So I'm going to do my, write in my double parentheses, and I'm going to put x and x because x times x gives me x squared. Let's write the factors of 16 down. So 16 is 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. Which combination of numbers can we add and subtract from to get 6? Well, 16 minus 1 is 15, or 16 plus 1 is 17. So, no, we will not get 6 from there. What about 4 and 4? 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. Again, we don't get that 6 that we need. But we like this one because 8 minus 2 gives me 6. So I'm going to put an 8 and a 2. doesn't matter which, in which order. But we want to get a positive 6, so I'm going to get put a plus 8 and a minus 2 because plus 8 minus 2 gives me 6. And negative 2 times 8 gives me 16. If you want to check your work, let's do our FOIL. x times x gives me x squared. x times 8 gives me 8x. Negative 2 times x gives me negative 2x. Negative 2 times 8 gives me negative 16. Simplify, that gives me x squared plus 6x minus 16 which matches our original question. Note when your c is negative, and in this case your c is negative 16, your factor must have two different signs, a positive and a negative, for it to result in a negative number there. Let's try this one. Again, nothing in front of our squared term, so I'm going to write it as double parentheses, and I'm going to put my z and my z in there, because z times c gives me z squared. Then I'm going to look at my factors of 40. 40 is 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, 5 times 8. Let's see if we can add or subtract the numbers to get 13. 40 plus 1 is 41, 40 minus 1 is 39, so no. 20 plus 2 is 22, 20 minus 2 is 18, so no. 4 plus 10 is 14, 10 minus 4 is 6. No, but we have 8 plus 5 equals 13. I can put it as 8, 5. A positive 13, so I'm going to put a plus and a plus check. z times z gives me z squared. z times 8 gives me 8z. 5 times z gives me 5z. 5 times 8 gives me 40. Simplify, I get z squared plus 13z plus 40. 40. Answer checks out. And this one's a little bit trickier, so I want you to take a look at it. So we have, again, nothing in front of our x squared. So I can write it as my double parentheses and put in my x and my x in there. x times x gives me x squared. 
let's look at our factors of 6. 6 is 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. Now, 6 plus 1 equals 7 or 6 minus 1, 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5 or 3 minus 1 equals 2. Obviously, these two do not work out, but we're getting 5s from both of these. What are we going to do? Now, we have to figure out if we're going to put a 2 and a 3 in here or a 6 and a 1. If I were to put a 6 and a 1 to get a negative 5, I would have to say it's negative 6 plus 1 because negative 6 plus 1 gives me negative 5. But if I check back with my foil, 1 times negative 6 gives me a negative 6 and not a positive 6. I cannot use this one. I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to use this one, which is 2, 3. And we need a negative 5, so I'm going to put a minus 3 and minus 2 because negative 3x minus 2x gives me a negative 5x. And negative 3 times negative 2 gives me a positive 6. We do our FOIL to check back. x times x gives me x squared. x times negative 2 gives me negative 2x. Negative 3 times x gives me negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 2 gives me a positive 6. Simplify, I get x squared minus 5x plus 6. So this one checks out. Here's one last one that I want to bring to your attention. Notice that we don't have our question in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So let me rearrange that. t squared plus 6t plus 16. When we don't have it in the form of our x squared plus bx plus c yet because we have the negative sign there. So for me to make it in the form that we want, I'm going to pull out the negative sign. So I have t squared. Note that because I have a negative on the outside of my parentheses, I have to change all my signs on the inside to the opposite sign. So my positive 6t now becomes a negative 6t. My positive 16 becomes a negative 16 and now we have it in the form that we want i'm going to rewrite it make sure we bring down that negative sign put in my double parentheses and my t in there because again t squared times t sorry t times t gives me t squared let's look at our constant and let's write down our factors of 16 1 times 16 2 times 8 or 4 times 4 well, we know 4 plus 4 gives me 8 and not 6, so that cancels out. 16, will, 16 minus 1 gives me 15. When you add it, it gives me 17. 8 minus 2 gives me 6. So I'm going to put an 8, and I'm going to put a 2 there. We want a negative 6, so I need to have it as a negative 8 and a plus 2. Let's check our work. We have a negative on the outside. t times t gives me t squared. Negative 8 gives me negative 8t. 2 times t gives me 2t. 2 times negative 8 gives me 16. Simplify that. Still have my negative on the outside. That is t squared. Negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 minus 16. Distribute our negative sign in there. And that gives me a negative t squared plus 6t plus 16. Remember, we have to change the signs when we remove the parentheses. Does that pan out with our original? Yes. Yeah. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for notifications. If you have questions or comments or would like to see a particular topic, please leave a comment below. I offer notes, lessons, and worksheets with full answer keys for sale as well as online tutoring. Links below. I also have a Patreon account if you'd like to support me that way. Thank you for joining me and I hope you found this lesson helpful.